But right here, going into this match now, we got Yoshi versus Fox on Pokemon Stadium 2. What is this right now? Fred and Wom. Wom? Wom, Wom, Wom. Wom. It's Wom. 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 It's Wom. There Wom. we go. Shout out to Fred. Helper. It's Fred and Wom. Yeah, so Fred, I actually saw earlier when we were on the Nairo stream, right? Mm. Uh, he was playing uh, this Fox, and it was doing all right. Oh, I, I forget who he lost to, but it was definitely one of the, the higher seeded players. You know what I mean? It was definitely uh, someone that he was kind of quote unquote expected to lose to. But now we have ourselves a different matchup here. He's up against Yoshi, who, you know, in the past has always been kind of called like a poor man's fox. But in this game, people aren't saying that anymore. He's not fox, he is Yoshi Yo now. No, Yoshi is absolutely a threat in this game. Like, People, it, I find it kind of a meme that in a lot of Smash games, people tend to believe that Yoshi's good like, towards the start and he kind of falls off. Like, I see no signs of Yoshi falling off towards that like mid-high, high tier. Like, this character is here to stay, and it's gonna, and we're going to see it in this game right here with Bomb. So one of the things that Yoshi has at his disposal, right, has uh, that forward air, which he want to do a retreating fair. It's pretty safe on shield. It's very hard to punish, especially if you don't have a very large disjoint. On top of that, if you want to fish for those kills, you can just do back air. Back air will kill devastatingly early, and even if they're at a lower percent where it won't kill, you can drag down and go for like an up smash or a forward smash or something. So Yoshi definitely has the kill confirmed, but Fred saying, hey, I'm not going to let you get that, and continuing his lead on this game in PS2. And you even got to watch out, like especially in the air, that headbutt in the air that spikes right down, if that spikes onto stage, that's actually at some percent to confirm right into Yoshi's up air, which will kill. It's a very good kill tactic for Yoshi players. And right now, kind of even, but uh, what what is it, um, Fred, right? Uh, just going a little harder with Fox right here. 69% currently uh, for Wom. These names are so much are so much harder for me to say. I have to take like a moment and pause myself. They got some names for sure. Oh my goodness, the Noggin to the Illusion. Tries to catch the uh, the second Illusion with the dash attack, unable to do so. But Wom is just holding the center stage. And you can see how Wom isn't giving an inch as well, right? We'll sit there completely content with waiting for Fred to come in and then countering his option. Yeah, definitely playing a more bait and punish kind of Yoshi right here. But when he gets in, he can get a lot of percent in. Fred right now, Ooh. oh my god. Tried to go for that, uh, that headbutt on this. Oh. That up smash will take the stock off the top. And uh, Wom now down a stock, but Fred at 90%. This is definitely possible still for Wom here. And Fred just looking for that dash attack. Oh, no. That would have broken a shield. So that, that's very smart from uh, from Fred, right? It's similar to when Bowser does his down B Bowser bomb as well. The moment you see them go up, you have time to roll. And that's what we saw him do there. I don't want my shield broken. I'm going to move out the way. And yeah, that's definitely the way to do it. See a car coming? Move out the way. No, yeah. I'm gonna just block. <laughs> I'm gonna put up my arms in front of the car and just hope that I it won't shield poke me. Exactly. And that's a good luck to you, man. <laughs> but Fred going back to the gun a little bit, tacking on a little bit of percent and running in, reading the defensive option from Wom and getting the back here and Definitely now just extending possible. this, looking so good and poised to take this game. Yeah, this is a bad situation right here for Wom at 107. Trying to find something, but Fred really just spacing himself out, doing a really good job of like he doesn't have to go in right now. He can just wait for a mistake. Oh, he's gonna get that roll read and got it. Yeah, that's perfect, not man. not exactly what he thought was gonna be, but still able to capitalize on it enough. Yeah, and that's the thing that I that I like, right? You will see from players like like Fled, I guess in this case, right? He kind of surprised me. But also like light as well, where they'll set up a hard knockdown scenario like this, do one fox trot, wait and then go forward, wait again, and then just look to see what your option's gonna be and then react with the up smash. See, what I loved is that after knocking him down with the down air, he waited in space just to try and see like, cause usually a lot of times when you react with the roll in, mm -hmm. it's gonna be the very first thing. So he waits like a quick second, is like, okay, it's not gonna be the roll in, runs up to where Yoshi was and shields, wait for the get up attack, realizes, can see the roll animation to the uh, outside start and be like, okay, it's not going to be there. Immediately run up. It covered, like, he waited and designated his options perfectly there. Look at that. Boom. Look at that. And immediately just come in, able to predict that perfectly. Perfect timing, man. I mean, he just, you know, reactions. God, important. I love that. Re I love that replay system, House. That's yeah, beautiful. I mean, like but let me tell you, they didn't have a replay system on the mix. I'm, but, oh, oh, I love Collision oh. 2019. Oh. We are here to play, <laughs> man. But... We're gonna see how we go for game two. We see a switch to Lucario. So the Yoshi off the table, and Lucario, a kind of a character that 
we don't see very often anymore, especially with the change in the last patch that kind of got rid of the, the Aura Spear cancel shenanigans. But who needs that when you can get a jab lock convergence like that? Yeah, that, that was actually a weird jab lock conversion. He tried to, like, he got the first jab lock, but decided to just keep going with the uh, full jabs, which was, I don't know if that was the best option, but hey, I don't play Lucario. This man knows more than I do. You know, sometimes what happens is, because, uh, you know, you can get two jabs before you have to yeah. commit to what your option is. Wow. Sometimes you try, try to wait out and go for the second jab, and then it ends up doing jab two instead of jab one again. So that could have been what happened there. And then just decided at that point, like, yeah, damn, I, I'll just, I might as well to. finish it. Yeah. Ooh. Good job there. Just enjoy. Uh, holding up and dropping shield, just waiting, just trying to bait an option out. Wow, got the hitbox of that. Actually sent Fred off stage. Tries to go for the down air there, but actually, Wom was the one getting punished there. Yeah, and that's the good thing about, uh, I guess, Firefox, right? The fact that you can angle it the way that we saw Fred do in that scenario. He went for the off stage down air, saying, all right, I'm gonna get this edge guard, catching you on the way up, but because he angled it ever so slightly in, he wasn't able to get anything. Mm -hmm. But even right there, speaking of getting stuff, you know, beautiful up smash coming from Fred. Fred looking strong here. I mean, character switch later, still not doing enough for Wong. Right now, Wong needs to find something, and he found that exact thing. And now we're at a completely neutral, even game right here. Two stocks apiece. Fred getting the first little bit of damage right there. Getting the jab, sending him off stage. Going straight to ledge, actually getting that with a grab right there and following it up with a couple of uh, forward airs. Or up airs, I believe. I like the use of the up tilt from Fred as an anti-air. Look at this conversion, able to get off of it. And even with the air dodge, Fox is fast enough to still get the conversion. Right? It's what we would call like frame traps, quote unquote, in Smash 4. It's kind of the same deal. Granted, it's very different from an FGC frame trap, but it's just kind of the idea of forcing them to do something, still being able to cover it, I guess, is kind of why they would call that in Smash. Not quite exactly what it is, but I, I appreciate it. Fred definitely playing a more aggro Fox as well. Really not giving Wom the chance to breathe. He's going to wait for an option, immediately go for it. Wait for that option, go for it. Like, not letting up even in the slightest right here. And right now, Fred with a big lead. The up tilt's coming up, but the down airs from Wom actually sending him off base for a slight bit. Getting that side beat to the back air as well. Really good play coming out from Fred right here. It was only one more stock until he proceeds on in losers. And I believe he'll be in the losers semifinals with the size top 64 next game if he wins here. Ooh. There we go. Have a little bit of rage racked up here, of course, because Wom is down a stock, so we'll get that rage boost into this uh, final stock that he has here. We'll be able to get the KO. I mean, 105, that, that's a lot of aura am rage, right? Like, that should. I, it might even be max, even, because he's down a stock. I'm not sure, but man, just can't seem to find that connected KO. Do you see that perfectly timed roll to get the up smash? What? What? Hello? Literally perfect. Like, I actually was surprised for a second that it didn't connect with the aura sphere whatsoever. Like, watch this. This was absolutely perfectly timed roll coming down, charges on the platform. I think it's a little farther ahead, but right here comes down onto the side, sends out that aura sphere. Perfect timed roll, and able Fox with the roll having more actionable, uh, quicker actionable frames than Lucario's aura sphere, and that's gonna do it right there. And that's kind of wild because I believe, I mean, I don't know the frame data for Fox, but like most rolls in the game are like three frame startup, right? Mm -hmm. So that means he has like perfectly like. Duh, 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 and the intangibility came in right probably uh, when the Aura Sphere was going to hit. So It definitely man, it definitely got... helps that uh, Fox up smash is a lot quicker. Like, it comes out super quick as well. Oh. Like, oh. Bam. Man. Clean. Photo finish. Oh, Dude, we're going frame by frame. Ha oh. ha House's replay system right now is making me feel just so, like, that I actually know what I'm talking about, and I appreciate that. Sometimes I second guess myself, the House is like, no, nah, no, nah, Drex, Drex, we got you. We got you. Never second guess yourself. Man, look at that. Oh, my God. Crisp. Crisp. Absolutely crisp roll. Oh. Yeah. You have a hat on. Same. When'd you get a hat? What are you talking about, man? That's right. We at Collision right now. Collision 2019. I'm, I'm joined by my boy Flambo right here. Flambo in the hat. What hat? What? Same. What? Same. We're on the House of 3000 stream right now. And guys, like we said, this is an amazing event. We got so many amazing players for come for you guys today. We got people like Nairo. We got DeBuzz. We mm -hmm. got Light. We got Tweak. We got Supergirl Kells down here uh, all the way from Canada. We got amazing Jersey players and Trash Day players in general. We got Shoyo James. Right. We got uh, Juice. We got 6WX. We got Biddy. Like, there are some amazing players here right now. Mars, then, Light, Mars Wishes. Mars Light from New England. Yeah, yeah, you can shout out your New England boys. That's your job. I mean, Wishes ain't New England. I mean, yeah. true, true, true. Wishes. I didn't. Okay. I haven't seen Wishes yet. I, I, I haven't heard seen Wishes was here. I do not. 
cannot confirm nor deny, but that is what I heard. I'm almost positive from he Frank. He probably is here, but I just haven't seen him yet. Fair enough. But this has been an incredible tournament so far. It's just... This is this happens every year in Jersey, and RJ, the TO, is just an absolute pleasure to work with. He does so much for the scene. There's part of me that wants to flag him down and tell him to hide a box of pizza, bro. Cause Dude, no, that pizza's just like, sitting there right there. I immediately came from MHG, and I was literally like, do I wait? Wait, like, Because I, 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 I think I have another commentary block immediately after this. And I'm like, if I do six hours in a row and I don't get any pizza, I'm going to be tired. No, dude, immediately after this, I have to go around the bracket. I'm going to say less. And so, like... But no, I mean, honestly, we're sitting here at Collision 2019. We were talking about all the talent that we had uh, in rapid abundance, right? Mm -hmm. And especially for uh, for the buzz, right? Recently sponsored by Team Liquid. Absolutely. This is one of arguably his first really big tournament. I mean, Summit Invitational, not really like uh, the kind of standard open bracket format that we're used to. So he has a lot to prove for himself. Absolutely. And even I was talking about Hangman, a lot of characters have a lot to prove for themselves here. Cosmos has always been, I feel like, kind of an underdog of the top players. He definitely gets consistent results. and. For whatever reason, I feel like when I'm looking through the, the, the kind of the Twitter feed and I'm scrolling down and I'm seeing people's thoughts, for some reason, he's never one of those names that I see thrown in contention for one of the best of the best. And I'm like, why? This so I'm man, like, does this he, does he have to do it player. again? This man was a top player at the end of four. again? Like, he's done everything to prove himself. And, like, I personally think, like, if I'm going down my list of who I think are the top players, I think he's either fifth or at least in top ten. Yeah, that's what I believe. Because I've actually not only seen him play a lot, I've actually played a couple games with him. This man is the real deal. And I feel like he is hardcore slept on in this game. And I feel like this tournament is a big stepping stone and a big proving ground for him to show like, hey, y'all underestimate me. It's a bad look for y'all. I'm going to be the one agree, man. with this. I can't help but agree. I mean, honestly, especially with, uh, you know, who, who are the contenders that people are thinking of? Like, you got yeah. Tweak. Tweak. You got Light. MK Leo, Light, Nairo. The buzz, right? Like you have in, in, in that top 10, you have like a, a nice concentration of talent. I mean, of course, that's why it's the top yeah. 10, It's right? harder for someone but like Nairo uh, actually recently because like Nairo's results have kind of been all 